treat somebody with respect and like a lot of people say that I have no respect for like that I just you know I just I'm an asshole or I whatever I just talking shit all the time it's like I just say what's on my mind I'm usually right How would you describe Jake? Oh, what what day is it? Monday or Friday? I don't know. It's always different. He, today he seems really happy, so that's good. But it's hit and miss. I don't know. It's because he, he has all the mag shit, and he's got lots of people breathing down his neck for the mag to get done. And he comes over here, he lets it out, and it's good for him. A little stress reliever. We started the band. Uh on the hill of Marseille, Tony bought some shitty guitar. He didn't know I could play, and I can't play. You know, this shit's for real. You stick with what you like to do, you do it well, and people are always gonna remember it. That was fucking sick. Fuck My brother, yeah. big love, big Fuck love, yeah. big love. <laughs> <laughs> he was wobbling on the way up. Did no, you see he's, that? He's, I said, there's no way. No way. There's no he's way. He's coming through. Oh, that was Diesel, kid. Diesel. Yes. <laughs> The first use of the term yeah. was Cold Weather Commandos Tour. It was 94. Sharks 50-50 grind a double set ledge. Jake's caption is, Todd Lussier, which is Shark's real name, puts That's the hammer man. down on a back, back 50-50 grind. And I just thought that sounded so fucking awesome. Did you read like, the mag? Go, let's go. Nailed it. Yeah, put yeah. the mag down. Let's go skating. Put the hammer down. So I just kept saying, put the hammer down. Put the hammer down. Like, I know that, like, he really loves skateboarding and like it's like his life and I think that's like I think that's really awesome like he's so like his whole life is skateboarding and he you know he knows like so much about skating and I think and I think that's I think that's really cool because like I you know like I'll see Jake and then he'll He'll just throw all this, like, he'll just talk about all this random stuff about skating that I don't even know anything about, but it's like, man, I seriously do not know how to talk about Jake. I love Phelps. He's sick. Is that what you were going to say? Yeah, I, I can read your mind. Jake Phelps is sick. He is. Jake Phelps, 50 years old. Asshole. Beautiful man. Nice guy. Dick. Totally cool. Fucking educated. Totally not that smart. All the above, the best of all. A photographic fucking goddamn memory. I love you, Jake, no matter what. Some people don't like me, I don't like a lot of people, that's just the way it is, but the, the way that the functioning magazine works is very different from the way people understand it to be. Well, there's no, that, well, see, that, that, that is the, that's one of the mysteries of skateboarding and Thrasher itself, is that people think that I have a real hidden agenda and I don't. I, I mean, 
there are some people that I genuinely dislike. But that's that's for me, you know, it's for reasons of my own. And but I, I don't go out of my way. If you skate, you skate, that's cool, dude. Let the hippie ride, I don't care. And it's part of what I do. It's my life. I gave my life to Thrasher. It wasn't something that, you know, I had any, any plans on doing. I dropped out of school. I just started doing drugs and fucking off and skating. My mom told me, she's like, do what you like, and eventually it'll work out for you. That's about it. And, you know, the rest is fucking history. I still think that uh, the mag for me is forever. <laughs> Give it up, kid. Thanks to what? Thanks to skateboarding, bro. Thank you, skateboarding. Yeah! That's right. Because you know what we're best? Out there. Because when we're here, no one tells us what's fucking rad. Let's get a little taste of this. It's really gnarly when someone does something that's like right next to where everyone skates. It's like thousands and thousands of skaters have had the chance to grind it. Right. They've all seen it. And they all said, wouldn't that be sick? And then nobody stepped to it. And then someone steps to it and they said, fuck, that should have been me. And you know what? It wasn't you. Show your black feet to the way. Beyond the gates, I'll take you where the Bust? Bust. You bail, I mean, sit down and watch the fucking show. I don't want to stand around like, yeah, man. Next uh, next week, ASR, man, stop by the booth. I don't give a shit about that. That's the last thing Thrasher thinks about. We care about skating here and now. That's all it's ever going to be for us. Biggest misconception of me is that I like that I'm just a total asshole or whatever. I respect people that respect me. Sometimes I, I come off as being gruff, but it's really just like I know that you're gonna make that kickflip, but when you just make it, you know. <laughs> Best or worst experience in Tampa? I woke up behind the bushes in the vert ramp. I woke up. It was like eight in the morning, and I got up and P, PLG was skating the vert ramp, and I skated vert with PLG at fucking like eight in the morning. It was pretty funny. Total random. He's like, "What are you doing here?" And I was like, "I fucking slept here, motherfucker. What are you doing here?" Aging, being decrepitude. When you see little kids in the parking lot out here, and how psyched they are to make a little fucking flatland heel flip, some bullshit that you're just like, you remember how that felt for you and how distant that is from you and how though you've traveled to the ends of the fucking earth and yet you still fucking find out that you're just like, you're just as human as the rest and you, yeah, you know, it's like, oh, come on, Felper. We're gonna start somewhere. Right. We're gonna work our way around 29 degree street. By the time we make it down to 338, it's like the ladder of success. One rung at a time, slowly but surely. We'll make it. I'm confident. With Rico by my side, can't lose. What makes a good skate shop? A good skate shop should always be a place where people can come and hang out and you can meet your friends. I met the best people I've met at the skate shop that I worked at before I worked here. Like I met them and they were we'd go skating. It's like it's like you put pictures up on the wall, you talk shit, you have like fucking birthday parties for your friends. Skateboard shops should be about camaraderie and people that, you know, that's skating. That's what we do. We're all skater people. We're the best people that ever lived. Period. The end. So I'm telling you right now, if you shop online, you just see chicken. Come to the skate shop. Hang out with the, your people. Come on, I've been skating in shops, skateboarding. And going to shops for my whole fucking life. That's where it's at. You find the people that are going to be in your life forever. It's all about skating. It doesn't matter what you ride. It's that you ride. So now let's get down with some raw street action. Ah. 
definitely the gnarliest kickflip I've ever done. And I don't think I'll ever do a gnarlier kickflip. Maybe if Phelps is there screaming at me. Man, I gotta get out of here. Where do you wanna go? Let's go to Australia. I got it right here. Really strict, right? So the whole thing's super gnarly. And like one of my friends, Jake, is he's always like, he always says he's gotta roll in. You gotta roll into the spot first, right? So I'm kind of seeing Jake from the corner of my eye. He's peeping the roll in, but he's like not saying anything. And like usually every time he's like, boom, roll in, and like points to you. And like I called it on him. I was like, roll in, get it. And so he's like, what? He did it. And fucking next thing you know, man, he's at the flat bottom and he's fucking vibrating and he's like a little fucking foams coming out of his fucking mouth and shit and i was like what <laughs> looking to grab a beer and fucking grabs a brew and he fuck cracks it he's like whoa wait a minute and the fact that he didn't drink that brew meant we got to take him to the hospital so we had to rush him to the hospital and he sat in there for like two weeks, man. I think it was two, two or three weeks and, uh, and um, he got better and we went home. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in my coma in Australia, I think I, that was as close. I don't, I don't remember much of it, but from what the guy, well, the guys, I got out of the fucking hospital and they parted out my board. That shows you how raw my friends are. And I was like, that you thought, you motherfuckers thought, you counted me out, you sold my board, all my shit. And they're like, didn't think you were gonna make it, old man. I was like, what, whoa, 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 hey, whoa, hey. I remember being at the skate park and I told Arco, I was like, this is what I want. I want this, this, this right now. Set it up for me. I had a bandage on my head. I just get out of the hospital. I'm in my fucking apron. And they're like, it didn't look good. So, I mean, as far as close to death, I wasn't there, but I mean, I remember I coasted through it. I just like the freedom and the speed and the danger. I like scaring myself as much as I can. If you're not skating with your friends, you're wasting time. These are the memories you'll make for the rest yeah. of your life. Yeah. Whatever you do with it, that's your business. But right now, having fun with your friends is what makes you the person you are. Thanks, dude. Yeah. yeah. Well, you just gotta keep skating if that's what you wanna do. But if you don't wanna, don't kid yourself. Get out, go do something else. And if it gets too scary for you, you were never meant to skate in the first place. And by the way, thanks for thanks for tuning in to Ask the Felper. I, I, I it, it shocks me that you guys pay attention. I pay attention too. I'm I'm an old skater dude, but I also I think thanks for uh, keeping me on the road and making me stoked on skating because it, it really it means a lot to me. Thanks again. Until we meet again. Glad to see you. I had a funny dream and you were.